What's happening, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian Mello with Marty's Buick GMC and Chevrolet. And in today's video, we're talking Corvette Zora, or maybe just Zora. Either way, we'll be asking the all important question of this series Would you buy one? So let's get into it. All right, so I think it's safe to say that the Corvette has evolved rapidly over the past few years. And with the introduction of the mid-engine C8, Chevy finally pointed the brand into the direction that it was always meant to go towards. Now, I know many Corvette enthusiasts and purists alike still consider the mid-engine Corvette blasphemous, due most in part to the fact that for them, the Corvette, it's a front-engine car and thus should remain a front-engine car. And I understand the point of view, but Realistically, technology has to evolve, cars have to evolve. Very few things in today's world can just stop progressing while continuing to be successful at the same time. So transforming the Corvette to a mid-engine platform makes sense because it's actually been a topic of conversation since the days of Zora Arcus Duntoff, known to many as the father of the Corvette, and sometimes even referred to as the inventor of the Corvette, though that title technically belongs to Harley Earl. Zora joined General Motors in 1953 after seeing the Motorama Corvette on display in New York City. He found the car visually superb, but was disappointed in what was underneath. So he wrote a letter to Ed Cole, Chevrolet's chief engineer at the time, telling him that it would be his pleasure to work on such a beautiful car. And in that letter, Zora included a technical paper, which proposed an analytical method of determining a car's top speed. Chevy was so blown away and impressed by all this that they actually invited Zora to Detroit for a meeting. Zora Arcus Duntoff is a, a legendary automotive engineer. He grew up in Europe, and eventually made his way to America when he finally winds up at Chevrolet, bringing all that knowledge with him of what European sports cars were capable of. He was heavily involved in the development of the Corvette for over two decades. During that time, Zora became Corvette's chief engineer, where he was the brainchild behind numerous prototypes, concepts, and production cars. He also played a significant role in the creation of the Corvette Z06 performance package and Corvette Grand Sport. And believe it or not, Zora actually came up with the idea of a mid-engine Corvette back in the 50s, even building a concept version of the car. And why am I telling you all this? You're probably wondering. Well, according to Dave McClellan, who actually replaced Zora as chief engineer of Corvette in 1975, Zora's last words as he left the building were something along the lines of, Dave, you must build the mid-engine Corvette. So although some people will say that going mid-engine with Corvette is a disgrace to what the Corvette is, I would say that if Zora wanted the Corvette to go mid-engine, that's exactly what Corvette should be. Now for the fun part. Because according to internal reports from GM, Chevrolet is currently developing a 1,000 horsepower variant of the Corvette. Yeah, 1,000 horsepower. Informally referred to as the Zora in honor of the man responsible for pioneering the idea, of course, of the mid-engine Corvette. According to reports from Motor Trend, this top-of-the-line trim will be powered by an electric hybrid system that pairs a twin-turbo 5.5-liter V8 engine with one or more electric motors. So it sort of sounds to me like the Zora will take the best parts of the C8Z06 as well as the new C8 E-Ray and sort of blend them together along with a twin-turbo system to create just the most insane Corvette that we have ever seen. And this is the kind of news that should just get every enthusiast excited. Yes, even you Ford guys that are probably watching this. Now, I'm not sure how many of you saw the next-gen Grand National concept that I created using artificial intelligence, but I decided to see what I could come up with when it came to the Zora. So I fed the system the current 2023 Z06, and I asked the AI to increase the performance of the car, gave it a much lower stance, focus on aerodynamics, and because I like to make things a little more interesting, I blended in the E-Ray, and I decided to have the system look at Koenigsegg for reference points. Oh, yeah. Now, after a couple of hours of tweaking this thing and getting it into Photoshop, this is what I finally came up with, my conceptualized design of the 2025 Corvette Zora. And when it comes to the Zora, I think it needs to compete more directly with the Ford GT. And so the design of the car needed to be brought up to an even higher level, which I think I managed to do while still maintaining some of that C8 Corvette DNA all into the mix. And I'll be interested to hear what you guys think of this thing. I've had to guess some of you are going to hate it because it's just not traditional Corvette enough. And some of you will love it because it's just that much more over the top than the current C8 offering. Now, I know this one is a little hard because we sort of have to put price aside a little bit when you answer the question, would you buy one? Because this thing, if I'm honest, it's got to have to be in the $200,000 price range, which I certainly can't afford. But if I could, 
I would absolutely buy a 1,000 horsepower Zora that looked like this over any other option. Lambo, Ferrari, please, I don't care. Give me this thing. Personally, I'm really happy with Corvette's current offerings with the Stingray, the Z06, and the E-Ray, but I am incredibly excited to see what we're going to get with the Zora. Or if they decide against the Zora nameplate and ship it as the next ZR1, that works for me too, but I think we're going to end up with both, if I'm honest. But let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know your feelings about the Corvette's transition into the mid-engine space. Do you love it? Do you hate it? And of course, answer the question of this series, would you buy one? As always, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you made it this far into the video, if you could do me a huge favor by just smashing that old like button, subscribe, of course, if you haven't already, maybe share this video with a friend, check out martysparts.com for all your GM OEM parts needs, and I'll catch you all in the very next video. Thanks again, and take care.